Today is a celebration, a celebration of love, of commitment, of friendship, of family, of two people who are in it forever. And you have come here to share in this commitment that they are about to make to one another, to offer your love and support to this union, and to allow Imran and Stacy to start their married life together, surrounded by people who are dearest and most important to them. Welcome. A wedding day is often the day when couples remember and miss family members that are no longer with them. For Stacy and Imran, there are family members whose memories they hold dear. Imran and Stacy would like to take this time to honor Stacy's mother, Kareem Reagan, and Imran's closest friend, Glenn McNeil Jr., and all of the ancestors who sacrificed their lives and brought us to this moment. At this time, the couple would like to dedicate a moment of silence in their honor. May the memories of your beloved loved ones warm this day and brighten your hearts. And may you continue to guide and run with Stacy throughout life's journey. You both met seven years ago, not realizing that forever was planned. Love drew you together, and love is what brings us here. Today, you both continue to write your love story and embark on one of its greatest adventures, marriage. Marriage is a promise between two people who love each other, who trust that love, who honor one another as individuals. It's a celebration of two people's wish to spend the rest of their lives together. It enables two separate souls to share their desires, longings, dreams, memories, their joys and sorrows, and to help each other through all uncertainties of life. A strong marriage also nurtures each of you as individuals and allows you to maintain your unique identity and grow in your own way through the years ahead. It is a safe haven for each of you to become your best selves while together. You are adding to your life not only the affection of one another, but the companionships and blessings of a deep trust. You are agreeing to share strength, responsibility, and love. And to make this relationship work, it will take more than love. It will take trust to know in your hearts that you only want the best for each other. It takes dedication and time to realize time is our most precious gift. And giving it to another, is our greatest demonstration of love. It takes courage to stay open to one another, to learn and grow even when it is difficult to do so, and it takes faith to go forward together without knowing what the future holds for you both. Remember that in every marriage, there are good times and opportunities to overcome obstacles. You both have committed to a daily pursuit of your best. May the promises that you made to one another be lived out to the end of your lives. Amron and Stacy, do you present yourselves willingly and on your own accord to be joined here today in marriage? You were guided to each other, but you are here today because you are making a choice. You both are choosing each other. You have chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, who makes you smile, who makes your day even brighter. You are about to make promises to the other that you intend to keep. You're going to vow to take care of one another, to stand up for one another, to find happiness with the other. There's a simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to be there. And you're teaming up and you're saying to the other, Every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be a part of. With that being said, Imran and Stacy, will you promise to care for each other through the joys and sorrows of life and to share in the responsibility for growth and enrichment in your lives together? Yeah. 
<laughs> and Ron, when you have this woman to be your lofty wedded wife, to live together in matrimony, where you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, will you keep only unto her as long as you both shall live? I do. And Stacy, will you have this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others? Will you keep only unto him as long as you both shall live? I do. The symbolic vows that you are about to make are a way of saying to one another, you know, all these things that you promised, hoped, and dreamed, I meant to all, every word. Look at one another and remember this moment in time. Before this moment, you have been many things to one another. Acquaintance, friend, companion, lover, dancing battle component, even <laughs> teacher. Or you have loved much from one another and learned much from one another over these past few years. And shortly you shall say a few words that will take you across the threshold of life, and things between you will never quite be the same. For after today, you shall say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. And now that you have both affirmed your declaration of intent, I ask that you share your vows with each other. And then I will start with you. Y'all bear with me, please. <laughs> <clears throat> this is titled Our Days. There will be a day when the two of us sit and reminisce on all the amazing memories that only you and I share. Years of tucking you in at night, or you falling asleep in my arms. Mornings when you wake up to a forehead kiss. An entire world full of only things we've experienced together. You made me a better man. A better friend, a better brother, a better son, a better everything. There will be a day where your safety from this crazy world is always in my arms in the next room, or in the head scratch waiting for you on the couch. <laughs> from the first day we met, I knew. I knew that she would make me feel like the luckiest man on earth every single day of my life. You truly made the statement that all timing is divine real to me. But today is a symbol of that daily pursuit. Today is the day we've been waiting for. The day that I get to tell you more than I can show you, but I promise to do both. There's nobody else on this earth made more perfect for me than you. I cannot thank you enough for all the good you have brought to my life. I am committed and devoted every ounce of my being to uplifting you, loving you, and prioritizing the real love that we share. I do want to love you. I do want to cherish and protect you near and far. And these are the days, the long but fleeting days to do it. Avoid walking past you every day on campus for a whole 
But even that serves as a reminder that there are no mistakes in life, just the possibility of a better outcome and more opportunity to choose love. And with that, I promise to honor and uphold that love, to support you, listen to you with the purpose of understanding, and to always keep an open heart towards you. I promise to prioritize you, to use my intuition to protect you, and to validate your feelings, even over my attachment to my own intentions. They say the masculine brings structure into a space and the feminine brings flow. And I'm so happy that you trust me enough to build with me, move with me, and exist in the same space. I speak that we have a love that outlasts these bodies and a marriage that exceeds all expectations. I love you with all my heart and I'm so thankful to be experiencing this moment. Please present the room. The circle has no beginning or end, and therefore is a symbol of infinity. It is endless, eternal, just the way love should be. It is a symbol of peace. Let these rings be a symbol of unity and peace, in which your two lives are joined in one unbroken circle. Wherever you go, return unto one another. Imran, please place the ring on Stacy's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end. My love is also forever. My love is also forever. And Stacy, you may place the ring on Emma's finger and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. Wear it with love and joy. Wear it with love and joy. As this ring has no end. As this ring has no end, my love is also forever. May you always wear your rings as a reminder of your vows to one another and your commitment to continue to live in unity, love, and happiness. As we end our ceremony, Stacy and Imran have decided to include an African-American tradition of jumping the broom. This tradition represents your newly renewed commitment to each other. For generations, jumping the broom was a way of uniting those who could not legally marry. Today, it represents great joy and at the same time serves as a reminder for those who came before us. As our bride and our groom jump the broom, it symbolizes the sweeping away of the old and the welcoming of the new. The sweeping away of all negative energy and making way for all good to come into your lives. It is also a call for support to the marriage from their friends and family. Sharing a life with one another does require a leap of faith, and by taking this leap, it shows that they are dedicated to work together through all of life's circumstances. Because they have exchanged their vows before God and their witnesses, and have pledged their commitment each to each other, and have declared this by the joining of hands and by the exchanging of rings, by the power vested in me through the state of Florida, I now pronounce that you are officially, officially, <laughs> husband and wife. Imran, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. Go, y'all. Got hits when they throw in the fastball. 
Just too quick for it, peeling off like the whip orange Seen the effort, it's piss poor, I got too much, I gotta tend to Car payments and the rent due, told y'all that I'm six foot But with the money stabbing, I'm ten to Too much that I've been through, so I put it all in that rear view Clean money in a black whip, got old problems with the friends new Yeah, I'm in the big leagues, told them don't miss me Ballin' like Houston, ayy, feelin' like Whitney Yeah, I need a bag, bruh, send it through quickly I'm making his dog like I'm in a big lease. Yeah. Everybody that knows Kareem, a lot of these people here, she's about having fun and having a party. I know we saw the video, I got goosebumps still about it. But now it's time to continue with some fun for everybody. All right. And I just want everybody to lift it up for Kareem. She's not here with us in our spirit, she's here. So for those who know me, they're shocked to see me with a mic. <laughs> <laughs> My homeboys over here. So I just want that because it kind of was kind of funny even for a second, but let's let it go, okay? It's about fun, it's about the celebration of this wonderful couple. And let's get into it, let's get involved and, and, and send them all home. I met Stacy as a wife. She prayed and spoke into the air for days of spooning and sharing her life. In fact, she introduced herself as a future mother and a future wife in journalism school. I thought, who is this woman? Wanting motherhood, wanting the real work, don't you know we got revolutionary work to do? I thought. Pure joy as she talked about you like mango nectar. She talked about you before you, before she even knew you. This is not a byproduct. You are not a mistake. This is not just going with the flow. She knew what temperatures to keep a home. She understood cleaning. She understood conquering her day and the day-to-day -day task just to sit with the thought of you. Your name has set on the pages of many diary entries and walks in the woods before she learned your morning routines. She was strengthening you to be her rock before she held your hand, before your first dance. She has been planning for you. Who knew spooning 
could change the trajectory of your person's day. Just an inquiry of breath to ear can shake up something that has been ready. She has been ready to surrender to the force that pulls and pulls us all. She showed us she was ready by loving herself fully, being fruitful and multiplying herself again and again and again while maintaining friendships, sisterhoods, family, and the deep work of spirituality. Do you know how difficult it is for the youngest sibling to share? Her sharing has looked like fresh herbs from her garden, boiled peanuts from a flea market, long talks about you. Don't you see you have been here? She has recalled up a memory and isn't remembering resurrection in itself. She has shared her knowledge and wisdom like an endless well, because it is true, her waters never run dry and they do not drown. She has shared her table and family secrets because she knows how she got here. She has shared her strength and fearlessness. Imran, did you know one time Reagan's little body flung itself in mid-air at your meeting ground. She demanded my protection from the 42nd President of the United States. She causes us to rise deeper. She became the best version of herself while preparing for you. Amron, Stacy has answered the highest call. You have answered the highest call. You both are laboring for another spiritual growth without expectations, watching someone change themselves over and over again. It is the pull we all have, the desire to have new eyes daily in order to see the spirit in our perfect spoons, little spoon or big spoon as this was and is the ancestor's highest imagination for you too. You were and are Reagan's highest and wildest imagination, now manifested. And what could ever be more revolutionary than that? That's beautiful. Thank you so much, Valkisha. Thank you, guys. And at this time,